Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this um, easy, fun fall makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so to start, what I'm going to do first is start with the eyes. But I'm actually going to take my Nude Sticks. Um, this is the Cream Concealer. It's their newer one. And I'm using the shade 2. And I'm just going to put some of this on my eyelids. Just so I can even out skin tone on my eyelids. So originally I wanted to make this video as a first impression video along with the makeup look. However, when I did film that footage, I didn't like how the video turned out. So it's just going to be your normal makeup tutorial video. But I will give my feedback on some of the products that I did purchase because I've only used them like once or twice. Woo! Um, so yeah, today we are going to be using the News of New York. So this is the Maybelline eyeshadow palette. I think this won a beauty, Allure Beauty Award. I never tried it uh, before I bought it like three days ago. It's pretty affordable. I think I got it on sale at Shoppers for about 14 bucks and originally I believe it's around $20. Um, fun fact, if you do like to shop for makeup at Shoppers Drug Mart, if you're Canadian, um, definitely go on like a Saturday. Don't go between like Thursday and Friday because I find that they update their sale prices during Thursday and Friday nights. So everything is still kind of full price. I mean, it also depends on the week what's going on sale, but always try to go in like during a Saturday. Uh, yeah, because you can definitely save some money. So we're going to use this for the fall look. There's a lot of pretty shades in here. You get some mattes and you get some with shimmers, some lights, some dark colors. So I really like the variety. I usually use um, Sephora eyeshadows. I've never really used a drugstore eyeshadow palette, but when I did film the video that didn't work out, I was actually quite impressed with this palette. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to go in with the color Creator. So, can you see that? It's just this kind of natural, sorry, neutral, natural warm color. And I'm just taking this on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just really going to work this in the crease. So, I feel like I might add a bit of shimmer to this look with the palettes. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see what I think looks good for fall. I mean, for fall... Everyone's all about the warm vibes, um, the warm lip color, and all that. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to get to wear these colors during this season. So I'm just going to put a little more. Okay, so now that we have applied our base color, I'm going to go in with the color Explore here. So it's a little bit more of like a burg light burgundy shade. And I'm just going to really focus that on the outer corner of our eyes. And I'm going to take a little bit more of a swoop, can you see that? <laughs> a smaller tapered brush. So this is the Morphe M506. I actually just picked this up. I was in the need of smaller, or I was in the market, for buying smaller blending tapered brushes because I feel like the ones I have are all really big and sometimes they can make the look a little messy. So if you can get your hands on something that's a little more tapered and defined, I feel it really makes the look blend seamlessly and you can really see the transitions of the colors from like light to dark and so on. So yeah, so I'm just going to take that color and I'm just going to work this right in the crease just to add a little bit of dimension. Now for this palette really does have a lot of pigment. I'm actually really shocked comparing it to what I've used in the past. So you really don't need that much product with this palette. A little does go a long way. Okay, so next I'm actually gonna take a shimmer shade. But I'm just going to grab my brush, so I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M506 
M152, so it's just really a flat brush for packing. Um, and the first brush I used was just some random um, blending brush. It's not from Morphe. I, I really don't know the name. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the color Dreamer, and that's just this color here. So it's this kind of really warm champagne color. And I'm just going to really place this on the eyelid. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with, sorry, I'm going to take a new brush. I'm going to take the Morphe. 514 and this is also a smaller tapered blending brush, uh, brush and I'm going to go back with that explore color so this second shade that was more burgundy and I'm just going to reapply that in the crease. It's like a pretty look you can wear every day, you can wear it to a party, although I am jealous if you're going to a party because everything's on lockdown right now so I mean maybe you have a Zoom birthday party. <laughs> You want to wear this look too? That'd be pretty cool too. Next, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M512 brush, so just the flat brush, and I'm going to take the color Originator, and this is just a lighter color than the lid color that we put on, and I'm just really focusing this on the inner tear duct of the eye. So really just putting this right in the corner to just kind of give us a little bit more of a brightening effect. Okay, so I just had to put some clips on my hair because my hair was getting in the way. So next, I'm going to go back in with the color Voyager. So it's just this pretty darker maroon color. And I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M154 brush. And this one as well, we're just keeping on the outer corner to add a little bit more of dimension. Now, if you do have fallout, don't worry because we are going to clean this eyeshadow look up with concealer as well. And also, I don't really use eyeshadow primers, so if you feel like you have oily lids or eyeshadow just doesn't last all day on you, then by all means use an eyeshadow primer because I know they do, like when my skin used to be oily, it really did help me um, with oily eyelids. I think my skin, like I said, just went through a phase and now it's just really dehydrated, dry, and is not oily anymore. So it's weird, I guess, when you age, your skin just becomes parched, dehydrated, and wrinkles start coming in. So that's always exciting. <laughs> okay, awesome. So next I'm going to take, I might add a little bit of a deeper color on the lash line. So I'm going to take a Sephora Pro Smudge Brush. This is the 11. Now I really like this brush because it's very dense. So you can really get right in the lash line and pack color on. So I'm going to take the color Self Starter. So this is just a very warm kind of chocolate brown color. And I'm just going to put this on my top lash line. So to make it look like we are wearing a liquid liner, but we're really not. Just be careful because, like I said, this does have a bit of fallout, so. So, yeah, I really like this palette. I feel like for the price, you get a pretty good deal, and you get a lot of colors, and it can really suit a lot of skin tones. You can definitely do a lot of looks with this palette. Um, this is just one of the looks you can do. By all means, if you want to do something that's a little more matte, you can definitely get away with doing something like that as well. Okay, so that's going to be it for the eyeshadow for the top portion. I'm going to come back and finish the bottom portion when I apply, after I apply my foundation and all of that stuff. I'm going to go in with foundation and what I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Infallible, oh, is this focusing? Infallible Pro. This is the shade 204. This is pretty dark for me. Um, so I actually bought this at Winners. And they had it for $7.99 in Shoppers, it's like $20. So I did already use this, like I said. Um, I tried filming this before and it just didn't work yet. It's pretty dark. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that well on the camera, but my body is a little darker than my face. So I might just add in a drop of that Nude Sticks Concealer on my hand. And maybe this will lighten it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so this foundation, it's, it says it's Glow Pro Glow, 24 hour wear, radiant finish, hydrating and a medium coverage. So, and it's an air lightweightless texture. 
Now I will agree, because I did, oh, like I said, I already used this, so I do agree that the formula is weightless, but I want to say it's definitely more of like a fuller coverage than medium. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. And I know it says it's hydrating. I, yeah, I feel like it's just a very natural finish, which is what I like, very similar to like the Selena Gomez foundation. I find this formula though isn't as runny, it's maybe a little bit thicker. So you can tell as I'm applying this, it is a bit dark. <laughs> I mean this is like my summer color, but it's already fall and I've lost my summer color. So I'm wearing a little bit of a turtleneck today, so hopefully I can just blend this all down my neck. To do next is I'm gonna go in with that nude sticks cream concealer and I'm just gonna put some under my eyes where I feel like I need coverage and I do like this product that has like a gel kind of consistency more of a light to medium coverage and the finish I would say is more natural and it is hydrating as well so that's the spot where I'm gonna put the concealer and I'm just gonna take my brush and start packing this, blending it, right under my eye. Okay, so they're doing some kind of construction outside and I just hear this crazy noise and it really is bothering me, but I'm just gonna try and ignore it. So next I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So this is a loose finishing powder in the color Light. Now this color is actually a little dark for me, but since the foundation is dark, I think it might work. It's actually a really nice powder. It's lightweight, it's not too heavy, and it does the job of setting the makeup. So I'm just gonna take this on my Sephora powder brush, and I'm not baking, I'm just really setting the areas that need to be set, such as my under eye and by my nose, my chin, just dusting a really light amount. So yeah, this foundation, I find it can settle a little bit. So just be cautious with how much you put on. Like I said, for me, it's more of a fuller coverage than what it states being medium, but that's okay. It still looks good. I mean, it looks good on camera, so yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So now that we're finished with the powder, that was super quick, I'm actually gonna start some bronzing and I'm using an oldie. So I'm using the Hoola um, bronzer by Benefit. And this guy, I'm just gonna dab and really start putting that by my cheekbones and just warming up the skin and creating some dimension. So I haven't really tried any drugstore bronzers. Actually, that's a lie. I've tried the Physician's Formula, the Butter butter Bronze, and I really like that. I have to find it. I don't know where I put it. Um, but I just found this Hula one, and I thought it would be good for the look just because it's everyone loves this bronzer because it's not too orange, and it just has that very nice, neutral, natural vibe to it. And you can't mess up with this product. Like You can keep going back and forth with it, which is nice. So... If you always need more, you can always build it. So that's what I really like about it. And I love the packaging, how compact it is. Yeah, this thing has, it's, it's a cult favorite. I mean, if you haven't tried this, I highly, highly recommend trying this bronzer. Next, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in the color Cool. So I actually pick this up and it's a cooler toned blush now I meant to pick up a warm but I picked up a cool and I do really like this I was looking for a good drugstore blush and I think I found it so this was about 12 bucks or 9 bucks so not too bad so I'm just gonna take my morphe m554 flat brush and I'm just gonna put some of this on the apples of my cheek. So it's not a matte blush. It has a bit of a sheen to it, which is nice. Kind of, It's kind of like a lighter version of the NARS Orgasm blush. If you see the shade, it's a tad lighter, not as pink, but it would look really good if you're, if you kind of don't like that super blush look and you just want to look a little bit flushed. It's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my nose as well. 
Okay, and that is it for blush. Next, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Why do I wanna say Fusion? I don't know. Flawless Filter, that's what it's called. And the shade one, and this is my favorite, favorite highlighter ever. And I'm just gonna take my ring finger and really apply this on my cheekbone. I love this product. It's so luminous, it's so natural. You get so much in it. It is a little more pricey, but you know what? The payoff of this, it's, I think it's so worth it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do next is take my eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyebrow brush, and I'm just going to take the spoolie part of it and brush my brows up. So I did get my brows laminated, so they kind of already have that feathered look, and I did get them tinted as well. But just to kind of make them look a little more sharp, I'm going to go in with this Revlon. Color Stay Brow Shape and Glow Pen. So I picked this up as well. It's basically supposed to be like one of those microblading pens for your eyebrows. And I kind of like this. You just have to use a very light hand with it. Like you don't need a lot because it is a liquid product. So I find you can make a mistake with this quite easy. So I'm just using very, very light motions and gestures with this product. And like I said, I don't need too much because I already have so much going on with my, my eyebrows and I'm just kind of quickly filling in any gaps, but you guys know I always just like that very natural effortless brow look. I don't like my brows looking too defined. And the back of this product actually comes with a little brow under brow bone highlight, so I'm just gonna try it. Oh, okay, that's nice. It's a little bit pink, but I think that gives a nice touch. A little bit of luminosity, who doesn't like that? Hmm, that's pretty nice. I think this was like 12 bucks as well, so that's a good price. Considering the Urban Decay ones, I think I'm so far like 30 bucks. I haven't tried those, I heard they're amazing too. I wanna to try everything, um, but yeah, I was just in the drugstore, so I picked this guy up. And now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to do that quickly off camera. I'm just going to go in with my Great Lash Mascara because I still have some eyelash extensions on and this is an oil-free mascara. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just applied my mascara. Next, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and Lead the Way. So this is just a crayon lip color. I'm not using a liner with this. I'm just going to go right in and apply this on my lips. I couldn't find more kind of a deeper, warmer color for fall, so I just decided to go with my neutral pink shade, rosy shade that I always tend to stick to. And this was my first time trying this product and I actually really liked it as well. They come in a lot of shades and they're very inexpensive and I believe you get a sharpener on the back of this somehow to use it. I don't know, I just twisted up, maybe that's the sharpener. I don't know how the mechanism works, but yeah. I'm just going to quickly line my lips. So I like it because it's not super matte. It has a bit of a comfort wear to it, and it really does have a good longevity as well. And yeah, I like, like the payoff of it. I actually have another color, but it's in my other bag. I couldn't find it. So I do have two of these, and I do like them. Okay, so next I'm just going to finish off the under eyes. So I'm going to go back in with that Maybelline palette. And I'm going to take that Sephora smudger brush that I used before and I'm going to take the color Explorer. I'm just going to run that color right under my lash line just to kind of connect everything together and create a little bit more of that smoky look. This is totally optional if you want to leave it without this. You can totally do that as well. but. I like to always add a little bit of dimension at the bottom. So I did Explorer and then I'm going to take the color um, Voyager and just keep that really at the outer end part because you kind of want to make it gradual so like dark to light if that makes any sense. There's so much construction going on in my street. <laughs> okay. 
I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to touch up my bottom lashes with some mascara. And I almost forgot, I'm going to go back in with my Becca Skin Love Setting Spray, Mist, whatever you want to call it, and just spray my face. So this one obviously does have a bit more of a glow dewy finish. If you're more on the oily side, try and use something that's a little more matte. Okay guys, and this is the final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this full makeup tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.